Rock Hotel and Casino, which is an off-strip hotel that we recently did a full review on a few months back. So if you haven't seen it already, I'll link it in the description down below. It has been unofficially dubbed as a local's favorite hotel. I'm a local now, so I wanted to go have dinner and just take the time today to explore. So I want to take you guys along. So let's head out. So we're gonna have dinner here at Yard House in a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys around what's new. There's lots of things to do here at Red Rock, so let's check out what's new. All right, guys, so we're at the food court now. You guys may have remembered this from our full hotel review of the Red Rock, but this is new. This is the Nielsen's frozen custard. Looks like they have dessert, so ice cream probably. I'm gonna see if they're still open, but I'm excited to try that. So you guys remember last time we were here, I talked about the activities that they have. So they have an arcade, they have a bowling, and they also have a movie theater. They actually have 4D here. We watched Avatar and Black Adam for the first time. That's a fun option to have if you're in Red Rock. I've been trying to catch the arcade, but every time I come here, it's closed. Looks like we're early enough to go in. We went here last time and we've been wanting to play Space Invaders. That bike looks fun too. Wait, I wanna play this. This is like a fishbowl frenzy. Okay, now let's go check out the bowling alley. So we're here at Red Rock Lanes. Let's go check it out. They have their own deli area which serves food. So you can get your drinks here. They also have pool, which makes sense. They also have shuffleboard back there. I think this is just another entrance to the arcade. Okay, so it looks like just a smaller part of the arcade. They also have VIP lanes. So right now there is a private event happening. I've been seeing a lot of people who are dressed up, so they're all going over there. I want to play right now. Look at all these people out here and it's only Wednesday. I know! I'm having such strong FOMO right now. <laughs> So next we're going to take a look at the restaurants. One of the things that's also upcoming here, which is we're really excited about, is the Rouge Room, which is, I think it's going to be like a nightclub lounge type of deal. So that's going to be exciting. And Lotus of Siam, which recently opened, we're going to go walk by that spot and check it out. For some of you guys who have been following us for a while, we're not huge gamblers, but there are certain machines that we call our good luck charm. Brian has a method of choosing our machines. It's the ones that look like mochi. So one of his favorite games is the Wolf Run Gold. We're gonna try out his luck today and see how it goes. All right, so this is how you lose $20 really fast. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told you it was lucky, it was a you know? I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I guess we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet. Sometime last year, I want to say 
for his last quarter. They serve Thai food and it has a really nice ambiance inside, so I can't wait to check that out with you guys. Right next door, we have Naxos, and it is an oyster bar and I believe Greek food. Looks fancy, so I can't wait to check this one out as well. And I can't tell if this bar is new or if it's part of the restaurant, but it looks swanky. We're hitting Osteria now. We had dinner there last time at our full Red Rock review. Really good, they open at four and they have an outdoor and indoor seating. So nice to get your Italian pasta fix. A little bit more of the casino floor. Yardhouse, we just placed our order. We got some appetizers to start with and we stuck with lemonade for our drinks. We made it to happy hour, so anything after 10 o'clock, all the appetizers are actually half off. So we helped ourselves to a couple starters and we're just waiting for our dinner. Okay, so I don't see dragon fruit lemonade that often, so I was very curious. It is so good. Oh, it's delicious. Alright, so we have my first, well, my main food, which is cheesesteak. And I got some garlic fries on the side. This is the barbecue bacon, and Brian got it with a side of onion rings. I'm gonna try this cheesesteak. It looks huge. I think it has onion straws on top. The bun is toasted, the meat is cooked well, lots of cheese. So it's the next day and I want to talk to you guys a little bit of a recap of what we've seen so far at the Red Rock. I have my notes here for all the things that has been updated since last year. As we talked about, Lotus of Siam is one of the newest restaurants that's been added and that was added back in last quarter of 2022. And since then we've had a couple more openings. The Naxos Taverna, which also features the Callisto Oyster Bar, which would explain the oyster bar that's right at the front. So it's this really nice Greek seafood focused restaurant. I just saw a little bit of the restaurant itself and it had a very Mediterranean look. It looks like it's very coastal. They've also added a casino bar that is next to to Taverna and across from Lotus of Siam. So all of that we were able to see yesterday. It looks like that was another new addition. We also have an adult only pool lounge opening in tandem with the Rouge Room. So we'll find out once we have more information about it. It'll be really exciting for the summertime. We did see the new Starbucks that opened. They do have a Starbucks where the lobby is of the hotel, but upstairs. Looks like they added another one, a second Starbucks right next to the food court, which we walked past last night. Nielsen's frozen custard was definitely a new thing. Their second store joins Red Rocks food court in early 2023. So I was definitely a little bummed that I wasn't able to try it. We'll definitely have to make a trip to try it and come back. And something that I didn't get to talk about last night, but I do know it is in progress. So Red Rock is part of the station casinos property management. In addition to all the changes that they are putting into Red Rock, they're actually in the middle of building another casino resort called the Durango. And that one is going to be located along Durango Drive. It's still another off-strip hotel. It is about, I would say maybe 10 minutes away from the Red Rock. So definitely something that's gonna be exciting to see when it opens up. I love seeing that we're adding more off-strip options that are just as great as one of the mega resorts at the Strip itself. So it'll be interesting to see what that concept will be like once it's close to completion. And we'll be sure to check it out for you guys. So. 
Thank you guys again for joining us today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video of exploring Red Rock. For those who are familiar at this off-strip hotel, it is one of our favorite off-strip hotels. One, because it's the closest to our home and also because they have a lot of things going on inside. As you guys can see, there's lots of different options for all ages in the family. So I really think it's worth a visit, even if you weren't staying in the hotel, although their hotel rooms are also really excellent. So I do highly recommend you guys checking it out if you're able to be in town and just wanted to do something that's a bit off this trip. If you guys found today's video helpful, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up down below. And for more Vegas videos and travel videos that are upcoming, we do have a lot more fun things to do for you guys. As we're moving into spring and summer, we're definitely going to have a lot more things happening and lots of experiences that we're excited to share with you guys. We are trying to reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you found this video helpful or entertaining, or hopefully both, hopefully you guys would consider subscribing and supporting the channel. And that is it for me. I will see you guys in the next video.